One of the things that my son asked for for Christmas was a record player, and I was so excited about it, but I also thought it needs a really cute home, and so I wanted to build a DIY record player stand. So Ash came over, and that's what we're doing today. We're so excited to show you guys how to build this, so let's rock and roll. <laughs> First step in building this rock rocket. <laughs> the first step in building this record player stand is to cut down my wood. So to save money on this, and also because I wanted a really cute modern look, I'm going to be using laminated project panels. These are typically located with the straight boards, um, dimensional boards at the hardware store, and these are 16 inches wide each. I chose to go with a shorter four foot length because the price was better. So I bought three of those, making my total lumber cost 60 bucks. So I'm gonna make two cuts at 24 and three at 22 and a half. Go. Okay, those are my 22 and a half inch cuts. Three of those. And now I'll do two at 24. All right, so I've got all the boards cut down and now I'm gonna have Ash make all of our pocket holes for us. Welcome to Ashley's channel. <laughs> So Whitney has graciously ripped all of the boards down and I am adding pocket holes to the shelves. It's also the top and the bottom. So these pocket holes are gonna be three quarter inch and I'm going to put them on the ugliest side. Whitney, which side? This um, side? Probably that side, yeah, yeah. it's kinda yellowy. So I'm using our very favorite Craig model. You might have heard us talk about it a few times. It's the Craig 720 Pro and it just makes drilling pocket holes even easier. My favorite feature is that you can switch from three quarter inch stock to one and a half inch stock without having to make any adjustments on the clamp. We've got three pocket holes right there. All right, so I've got the pocket holes drilled. Now I am going to wait for Whitney to come over and show me how to build <laughs> this. <laughs> All right, so what I'm doing now is I'm gonna add the shelf board. So this guy is gonna have a bottom shelf and then it's gonna have two closer to the top. And Ash made the pocket holes, so I'm just adding a line of wood glue. And you can download the free plans from our website. I might have Ashley Shanty clamp. Hey Ash, make yourself useful. So this is the bottom one? Yep, this okay. is the bottom one. I was trying to figure out where we were going. Yep, you don't really have to know, because, you know. I'm along for the ride. You are. I'm here for the whole project, Whitney. <laughs> I'll end up at the same destination. Yeah. <laughs> we'll both be on the same rocket, right? Yeah, the same rocket. <laughs> <laughs> so I am adding one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws into each of my pocket holes to attach these boards together. Okay, so I have my first one done, and now I'm going to work my way up to the second shelf. And once we get these three put on, we'll flip it over and put the other side on. Under or on top? The pocket holes, now that's a good point. The pocket holes on all of these are going to face down because that way we won't see them when we're playing all of our records. I decided not to have a back on this because I thought it added to its style. It's like really simple, oh, the tender in your garage. I kind of like the no back with audio stuff too, because yes. you don't have to deal with the cords. Exactly. And I was debating on how to add dividers for his records when he starts collecting more of them. Yeah. And I found the cutest dividers on Amazon. So we're going to be adding that after I finish Ooh, that's it. fun. I know. OK, so what we're going to do now is add that top shelf. But what I have right here, this is the top is actually going to have a back, because I just thought it was cute, and that's what we're doing. But now that I think about it, the record. It's your project. You yeah, you so I'm going to do it. So quit judging me. Ashley, don't let her intimidate you. She doesn't intimidate me. <laughs> Ashley's the, I was Ashley's born the mean first. one. <laughs> she's, she's she the doesn't mean one. scare me. <laughs> Just kidding. She scares me a lot. What we're going to do now is flip this over and put the other side on. And then we're already ready for hardware. Heck yeah. I, I like these kind of projects. Me too. Okay. Out before lunch. Let me just line this up so I know exactly where to add my glue. So what I've done now is flipped my record player holder, not rocket, over 
to add my four uh, feet. And I love these things, they're five inches tall. How cute are those? I got them on Amazon, I'll definitely link to these. Um, and they come in different sizes too, which is fun. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and add these because I'm gonna stain it last and since they're on the bottom, that gets it off the floor and I won't have to worry about staining the bottom. They come with the screws too, so they're really nice. I'll, I'll link to those in the post. To finish this project, I sanded it down, I gave it a coat of stain, and I also found these really cute vinyl dividers on Amazon. I think they make the perfect addition and add to the cute feet. I love this thing in his room. And for all you music people out there, this makes such a great audio stand, and we loved building it. It was so much fun building something totally outside of our norm. Y'all be sure to subscribe. Happy building. Stay tuned in. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, okay. See, how, let's do a count on that today. How many times Whitney and Ash just say, all right. All right. The first step in building this rock, <laughs> rocket. <laughs> the first step <laughs> in building this record player stand. 60 bucks isn't bad for a rocket. I <laughs> At all. <laughs> Guys, Sweet it's rocket. gonna be the most the cutest rocket, rocket you've ever seen. Too. You're about to be amazed. You've never <laughs> seen a rocket that looks like this before, okay? It has feet. You, you can put a, a record player on it. <laughs> We're building a rocket today. <laughs> Out of laminated <laughs> project panels. <laughs> <laughs> this thing will take you to the moon. Okay. But this guy is going to go. Why is it shorter? I That's see what you're saying now. <laughs> <laughs> this is the rocket part. Shut up. <laughs> Literally, you told them that we're building a rocket. <laughs> yeah, I, I like these kind of projects. Me too. Okay. Out before lunch. Ashley, did I cut from the side that we need? That was the side. Oh my gosh. That's the only piece of wood that I have. Oh, guys. Oh, I just literally, yeah. it's fine. At least that's the back. Ashley, come here. I'm here for the whole project. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you know, very uh, mid-city mod, <laughs> y'all. Mid-city rocket. It's a mid-city rocket. Uh. <laughs> I love it. I think it's so fun. It's a little bit snout. <laughs> I have one line. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of sounded like phlegm, like you had like something coming up in your throat. Fail. <laughs> so, um, wait. Now I don't have it. I don't think you ever had it. I never had it. Okay, okay, I'm ready. All right.